The Midwich Cuckoos is about a community who lives in this town called Midwich, which is sort of a generic, small English countryside town. And there is a power cut, and all of the women become pregnant. I can feel life growing inside me. It's called the Midwich Cuckoos because cuckoos hijack other birds' nests. They enter a bird's nest and they take it over and they actually remove rather violently the eggs of the original mother. And, and the mother doesn't seem to notice until it's too late. If you watch it with human emotion, it's unbearable. What's interesting about the children is that they're partly from these women, but they're also from this unknown other source, which makes them pretty scary. The baby has my DNA, but not yours. Apparently there's no evidence of paternal DNA of any kind. Questions are asked over nature and nurture. To what extent are these children inevitably alien? These children have come from us. They're the next development. To what extent could they potentially be nurtured in human ways of love, affection? Or are they simply using our tendency to attach and to feel affection and love for our children as a method of takeover? We learnt about you, you learnt about us, and now we live happily together. This is deep Darwinian stuff. We don't know what they are. I don't trust them. None of them. The cuckoos are an evolution of humans. They're um, a more evolved, less empathetic, more intellectualized species. They do things with an efficiency of transaction. Oh, uh, thank you. There isn't this kind of messy human emotion. What is it that the cuckoos want? What is their aim? Is it world domination? Is it environmental? Are they coming to take over our planet? Choose a picture. The motivation of the children is the key question of the drama. And in a sense, it's Dr. Zellaby. It's her mission to understand them. Why are you here? What are your aims? And can I change you? We're still trying to work out how their mind works. Our children are extraordinary. Our cuckoos are just brilliant. Well done! They are phenomenal. All the children are wearing false teeth. It gives them a, a sort of maturity and it kind of unifies them all. Why are you here? Because I want to help you. I would argue that the children are the experienced one and we are the innocents. But it takes us quite a while to realise that. So the community are the ones who have the big learning curve to go on. And that's, that's a great science fiction reverse. It becomes just a brutal battle of the species. And yet within the stories, there's this potentiality, I suppose, for redemption through the simple act of attachment between a mother and child and a child and mother. Those themes resonate right through our story to the very end.